I had always been <clears throat> aware of theater and seen a lot of it, and we had subscriptions to shows and stuff. But um, I, it wasn't until I was 13 that I was doing a, a dance recital. And in, in the recital, I, I remember getting in the car afterwards and telling my mom, it, uh, it smells different in the theater. There's a different smell, the paint they use or something. It's just a totally new place where I've never experienced this sensation before. And um, it really spoke to her. Like she really realized that this was something that was in my blood somehow. And she said, you know, you can do this as a career. And at that moment, I was 13 and I applied for the arts high school. I didn't look back. So it's really, it was really, um, as soon as I knew that that was an option, there was no, everything in my life up to that point fell into place. You'll never understand anybody else's own show and what it takes to do it. So the, even if you're in the same, you yeah. know, industry, you're still, you still have to be very um, compassionate for other people's work. But you, you wait to work with these legends so you can see their secrets and you're like, oh, they must have, you know, they must have their special teas or they must have their <laughs> fancy exercises. Nathan is like, if they're laughing, I am giving it and giving it and giving it. I mean, I, he, he, he dies every day. I watch him expend his entire life <laughs> in one, in, you know, in two and a half hours. It is miraculous to watch. And that's something I, I learn, you know, I mean, it's amazing to be able to work with people of his caliber. I was really lucky for my first two, like, major shows was Spring Awakening and Chorus Line that I was on stage the entire time. And I remember being in rehearsals for Spring Awakening and, you know, Jen and I were both in the, in the seats. So I, would, I was literally an audience member watching, you know, my friends and now my favorite actors you know, create a role and watch them do the, you know, the same thing I was kind of talking about with Nathan, where you get to watch their skill. It's, it's really amazing. And then with the next one, with Chorus Line, same, you're on stage the whole time, you're experiencing this thing from start to finish um, with the same group of people that never leave. You're standing next to the same people. And I remember, and I'm glad this happened when I was young, because I remember being, I never want to do a show ever again where I'm backstage. I want to watch all of my friends yeah. the whole time. I want to be on stage the whole time. <laughs> and then I remember then getting into, um, in the Heights, I had this like big chunk of time with like the fluffy couch in the stage <laughs> manager's <laughs> office. And I was like, yeah, this is some good times. But um, it's really, it's like definitely, um, one of the greatest things that ever happened for me was to be able to be in a show and in the audience kind of at the same time. You get to experience both.